Good morning, guys. It is 8 a.m. and Nyla is heading into the bathroom to get ready because she has to head to the farm and to the market with the other chefs around noon. It is about 9, 9.30 and Nyla has finished getting ready. She has also grabbed some of the berry honey toast that she had left over after she made breakfast for the girls. So she is going to finish that, catch the bus, and head on to the farm because the farm is in Hanford on Bagley. A little later. So here we are in Hanford on Bagley at the farm that the chefs will be looking at. And as you can see, I of course did not build this. I will go ahead and leave the name of the farm that they went ahead and visited for this competition. I will leave the creator in the description of this video as well. But here we are at the farm and as you guys can see, there are lots of crops, lots of stuff. There is plenty of livestock. There is a lot of stuff going on. So the chefs have made it onto the farm and they have finally found it. They did get a little bit lost, but they went ahead and found it. Nyla is going in to talk to the farm owners and the people that basically own this farm so that she can tell them that they are the chefs that they were told will be visiting the farm. Nyla knocks on the door and she hears the farmer says come in. So here we are. This is the farm owner and his family. They are actually here just visiting their second farm because this is their second farm. But you guys may be looking at this uh, the person and saying he looks very familiar and that is because he is from my horse ranch let's play this is the family that owns it they are the thompson family they bought their second farm not too long ago which is why they are here so the chefs have basically introduced themselves to lucas here and lucas is saying thank you guys so much for coming to the farm i do not know who the winner is but you guys have free reign of the farm Please do not mind my family. I am here with my wife, my mother-in-law, along with my son. So please do not mind us. And I hope you guys enjoy and find any of the ingredients you need. The marketplace is just over in the, just a little bit over to us in case you guys get lost or anything. If you need help, please go ahead and let me know. And just as they're about to get up, Nyla has asked the farmer what crops are in season right now. And the farmer said they are plenty of crops in season, but some of the ones that aren't in season, we do still have some of and you will find at the market. But I also happen to have some potatoes here if you'd like to look at those. So the farmer has brought Nyla over here to look at the potatoes and Amy did go ahead and follow Nyla to see the potatoes because I think Amy's got an idea on what she could possibly use the potatoes for. So everybody has made it outside and going their separate ways. I'm not sure what Victor's doing. But Nyla has gone ahead and it seems she has met someone as well. She is saying, hello, my name is Nyla. It's nice to meet you. And this lady is saying, hello, it's nice to meet you as well. My name is Isabella and I believe you have met part of my family inside. But I am just here to take some inventory for our family company. We make nectar and stuff like that as well. And Nyla is saying, oh, so you guys use all of your crops and some of your stuff for nectar. And she is saying, yeah, we actually own a nectar business and that is why we ended up buying a second farm. So Nyla is learning a little bit about the family's backstory and saying, well, it is very nice to meet you. I am one of the chefs here and I am looking around to see what these crops I can possibly use to make some of the meals. And Miss Isabella is saying, well, that is very nice. I will step out of your way so you can take a look. So Nyla has noticed a lot of the vegetables and stuff. So she's decided to go ahead and pull out her phone. Nyla has decided to open up her phone and she has taken out the note app and she is basically just writing some of the crops down so that she can figure out what she is going to use these crops for. But of course, she will be taking some of the stuff here with her along with from the marketplace. So catching up with Amy, Amy is here by the cow and she has noticed that this cow is a little bit old, but this cow does have some milk. So she has gone ahead and got some of the milk, but she is also going to go ahead and pet the cow and also talk to the cow as well. We have Victor here who has noticed that they have bees here as well. So he is bonding with the bees and he is just grabbing some honey as well so that they, he can use it for a few couple recipes that he has in mind. So the chefs are done on the farm and they are actually heading to the market area, which is over there. Amy is running because she wants to get there before all the good markets close. And Victor is right on her tail. I love how Nyla is walking very nice and breezily. 
And I think the reason Nyla is walking is because she knows all of the stuff that is in the market after talking to Miss Isabella. So she is well known and she knows exactly where she is going in that marketplace while Victor and Amy have to go searching around. So Nyla is over here talking to the flower shop owner and that is because she's thinking about adding edible flowers and so she is talking to the lady to see if she has any and the lady is saying yes she does so Nyla has gone ahead and bought some and she is heading to the next stall. And here we are with Victor. Victor is at the stall that is selling a lot of fruits and vegetables and he is grabbing some vegetables from here because he has an idea on what to do with the vegetables. So he has gone ahead and grabbed a lot of vegetables from like carrots and some other stuff as well. Catching up with Amy, Amy is here at this stall because she heard that this is the stall that has the strawberries and she needs some strawberries for her dessert that she is thinking of making. So she has gone ahead and come here to buy some strawberries. Nyla is heading to this bouquet person because the other flower owner told her that she doesn't have all of the flower edibles that the other bouquet person here that is selling them has the rest so Nyla has come here to buy the rest of the edible bouquets that she is going to need but that is all that Nyla needs and it looks like everybody is done with what else that they are going to be buying here so they will all be going their separate ways. The market area is also a lot that I did go ahead and place down. I will go ahead and leave in the comments as well the creator of this marketplace. So Nyla is telling them that she is done with all of the stuff that she had to buy and she has made a mental note of everything including what was on the farm and what was in the market. But she is going to go a hug and hug Amy and say, Amy, none of this will change our friendship. And even though someone's life is about to change, at the end of this competition, I am so happy that I got to make some really great chef friends. And I can't wait to, even though we might not get to see each other, spend more time with you even going to Malcolm Reby just to see you again if that is where you end up. And then she is also going to hug Victor and say, Victor, even though I hadn't known you for long, this competition has definitely brought me some very close guy friends. I did not have any guy friends in my life and I am so happy that I have you. Thank you so much for showing me your culture in Salvadorada and I will try to go there and visit and if that is where you also end up, I will definitely go ahead and come visit you. Thank you so much for everything. And with that, Nyla is saying, all right, guys, I will see you guys in the kitchen tomorrow for this competition and good luck to us all. I am going to go ahead and head out and catch the bus. You guys have a safe trip getting home. So here we are, guys. Nyla has made it back home and with everything that she had written on her phone, she sent it to her computer and she is writing on the computer all of the ingredients and seeing if anything from her mom's cookbook could be possibly used. Nyla finished writing on the computer all the ingredients and everything that she had gotten from the Thompson farm along with from the marketplace when she went and she is looking in her mom's cookbook and noticing that there are some some amazing recipes in here but she has noticed three that stick out to her for the entrees that she could make for this three course meal. So she's decided that she is going to do a flower veggie roll because that uses a lot of vegetables and she can use a lot of the vegetables that she got from the farmers along with from the marketplace to make them. Appetizer, she has decided to do a flower veggie roll and then for the main dish, she has decided to do a stuffed peppers where she could grab whatever protein she wanted but she's thinking chicken since she did see some chickens running around so that kind of counts on using everything from farmers to table. So she is going to use a little bit of chicken and she is going to use ground chicken and she is going to grab some vegetables and other stuff along with some egg as a binder and everything to bake the stuffed peppers. And then for her dessert, she decided to make a pumpkin cake because there were some oversized crops growing over there when she noticed and she decided to use that to make the pumpkin cake. The next morning. Good morning, guys. Today is the big day. Today is the day that we figure out who is going to win this competition, who is going to be crowned the home chef champion. Nyla is finishing her breakfast, which is the berry honey toast. She is definitely excited. I think back in her mind a little, she's also a little bit nervous because she is going up against 
Amy and Victor. And even though this will not change their friendship, it will change one of their lives. Nyla has changed. She is heading to the bus stop to grab the bus. Everybody has made it to the Home Chef Hustle kitchen. Nyla is hugging Amy and saying, Amy, good luck. This will not change our friendship, but I am so happy that I got to meet you and wish you the best of luck. Nyla is hugging Victor and saying, good luck, Victor. This will not change our friendship, but I am wishing you good luck as well. And we will get, finally get to see who the winner of this competition is. Good morning, chefs, and welcome to the finale of the Home Chef Hustle competition. You three are the best of the best out of the four we had, and you guys are going to be competing against each other for the champion and for the title Home Chef Hustle champion so you guys have three hours to complete the farm to table finale which is basically where you guys went ahead and got your materials your ingredients and everything you needed from either the thompson farm or from the marketplace that you guys visited i hope you guys brought everything you need you have three hours to complete the three course meal and i hope to see some really good things now chefs three hours on the timer you may begin eventually all right chefs time is up and look at these beautiful dishes in front of us they smell absolutely amazing i'm going to go ahead and let you guys know who's is who's here are the dishes i'm going to go ahead and go over each and every one starting with this one in front of me so this dish right here was made by Nyla. Nyla made flower veggie rolls, stuffed peppers, and pumpkin cupcakes. Moving on, we have Amy, and Amy made some caprese salad with some potato soup, angel strawberry cake. So that looks absolutely exciting. And last but not least, we have Victor. Victor made a garden salad, some meatloaf, and some honey cake. So the judges are going to try the meals, deliberate, and we will finally get to see who the winner of the Home Chef Hustle Kitchen competition is. Later. First off, I want to go ahead and say congratulations, and you guys did very amazing. We're going to go ahead and tell you guys what you guys did beautifully before we announce the winner of the competition. We're going to go ahead and start with Nyla. Nyla, we were pleasantly surprised with how much of the stuff from the market and the farm that you put into your food. We were pleasantly surprised by your appetizer with the flower veggie rolls. It seemed like a lot of care and a lot of interest was taken into that, including even all of your meals. You had a lot of the vegetables stuffed in that stuffed peppers, and it wasn't like the usual stuff, and you even made a pumpkin cupcake. So we were definitely very proud of you, and congratulations. Amy, we wanted to go ahead and say congratulations as well, and we were very shocked that you made a salad. But you and Victor both made a salad, and I think it was a very very good choice because you guys were able to use a lot of the vegetables in the salad so we were definitely very proud of you two for thinking of making a salad and we were definitely shocked that you made a soup as well because usually soup and salad go well together so definitely shocked and we were very appreciative you thought of all of your dishes and how they would go together and everything and the angel strawberry cake beautifully done the fluffiness amazing so congratulations and Victor. Victor, we were very shocked as well that you chose a salad as well, but more importantly, the meatloaf. Usually the meatloaf I was expecting was not what I tasted from you. Your meatloaf was amazing. You had so many vegetables hidden in that meatloaf, and I think it was also a great vessel for you to add more vegetables that you weren't able to use in your salad in the meatloaf. So very good job. Your cake was amazing in use of using the honey from the bees that were at the Thompson farm. So good job on using that to make your honey cake. Congratulations again. With all three chefs gathered, we are going to go ahead and let the winner be known. The winner of the Home Chef Kitchen competition is Nyla. Nyla is the winner because even though Amy and Victor both chose the salad and added a lot of vegetables, we were shocked that Nyla's appetizer was not a salad. We were shocked because Nyla not only used a lot of vegetables also in that spring roll, just like you guys used in your salad, but she made it very pleasing 
very pleasing to the eyes. It definitely captivated us and brought us in to want to taste that flower veggie roll. We were also shocked with how much she put in the stuffed peppers. We were very pleasantly surprised, which is why we are awarding Nyla the Home Chef Kitchen title. Congratulations, Nyla, and to you two, thank you for competing. And congratulations, Nyla, once again, and the prize winner for the Home Chef Kitchen. You will be winning the amount of money that will be needed. And why don't you go ahead and tell everybody what you will be using that money for? Because I believe you had something planned. Thank you so much, chefs, for this opportunity. Thank you so much. This means the world to me. My mother had originally a restaurant that she was supposed to open together. And my mother passed away a few months ago. And this was my way of bringing her dream to life. So I am definitely shocked. I want to thank Amy and Victor for their support and their friendship I would not have been able to do this with them so thank you so much and I hope to buy the restaurant that my mother started and is now in someone else's ownership I am hoping to buy it back and make it what it once was before with that Nyla thank you so much for telling us what will you will be doing with the prize money and I can't wait to see how you turn that restaurant and what you do in the next few years with that place and most importantly congratulations Nyla and thank you chefs who competed in the home chef kitchen competition and most importantly thank you to these two special guests that I had with me this entire time thank you Sims Boo and thank you Genovia Sens the judges have just left Nyla is super happy she can't believe it and Amy is jumping onto her and saying oh my gosh congratulations Nyla I'm super proud of you I can't wait to see what the restaurant is like and everything and Nyla saying, actually, I wanted to go ahead and ask you a question before everything was set in stone. I wanted to say thank you for helping me. Thank you for your friendship and thank you for everything that you've done. But more importantly, I'm going to need some chefs for my restaurants because I can't be running the restaurant and cooking at the same time. And Amy is going to yell and say, oh my gosh, are you saying what I think you're saying? And Nyla saying, yes, I'm asking you if you would like to be one of the chefs at the restaurant. And Amy's going to scream and say, oh, absolutely. Yes, I want to be one one of these chefs and Amy and Nyla's gonna say well that's great because I was really not hoping to have to ask someone else so thank you so much I'm just gonna go ahead and talk to Victor oh hey Victor congratulations Nyla I'm super proud of you oh my gosh I can't believe you won but I'm not shocked with all of that experience you got from your mother and even the sneaky ones you got from Amy I know about those you still did brilliant congratulations and Denyla is going to say thank you. I am so happy and I cannot wait. But before I go ahead and leave, I wanted to ask you, would you like to be one of the other chefs at the restaurant that I'm opening up? The one that was my mother's dream. I just asked Amy and you were going to be the second chef because I need two chefs for this restaurant. And Victor's gonna say, no way. Really? And Nyla's gonna say, yeah, really, I was gonna ask you guys. You guys are the best friends and some of the best chefs I know. So I am super happy that you guys were with me on this journey and that your journey will not be ending here. We will be continuing it together. So they will all be still staying here and they will be helping Nyla run the restaurant by being the chefs. But Nyla's gonna head home because I think there are some people waiting for her when she gets home. So guys, part of this little clip that I was trying to record got corrupted, but what basically happened is that the Nyla got home and her neighbors, which is Layla and Mia, along with her parents, were there to surprise her and to congratulate her when she got home. They were bombarding her with hugs and everything, but we are going to pick up basically right when she has entered her house with everybody and Miss Diane is ready to give her hugs since she wasn't able to use with everybody else bombarding her. It is finally Miss Diane's turn to give Nyla a hug and say congratulations honey your mom would be so proud of you for what you're about to do but more importantly I believe there is somewhere we gotta go because the, your mom's restaurant is still here in the town and why don't we go ahead and see if we can talk to the owner and get some stuff started for you. A few moments later. So we have arrived here at the restaurant and this is actually one of the restaurants that 
that the owner owns and Nyla's here to talk to her about possibly getting her mom's restaurant back but this is not it this is just another one that she owns so Nyla's gonna go ahead and head in to find Sydney Sweet because that is who owns most of these restaurants so Nyla has entered into the restaurant and she is going up to the host and say, excuse me, I am looking for Miss Sydney Sweet. So Nyla has met with she Miss Sydney Sweet. Miss this Walker. is her and she is basically saying, so I guess it's finally time to have that talk after all. And Nyla is saying, yes. So Miss Sydney is saying, why don't we go ahead and have a dinner? So everybody has taken their seat. They are in this little secluded area because Miss Sweet wanted to make sure that they had their privacy and that Nyla wasn't bothered as much since with all of the big win it literally happened today people would be bombarding her and she just wanted to make sure that they had enough time to talk about everything so everybody has ordered their meal let's go ahead and see if we can finally have this chat before they bring everybody's meal here so miss sydney is telling nyla she is saying basically that so i am ready to sell the restaurant i did try and leave as much of your mother's stuff alone so you won't have to do as much of it but i think your mom had a vision and i hope you are able to bring it to life but i am willing to sell it for you for a very cheap price because i know how much it means to you and she's gonna say it can be my little gift to you for winning the home chef hustle competition and Riley's saying you didn't have to do that oh my gosh thank you so much but they are going to enjoy their meal and i will see you guys when nyla gets home so nyla has finally made it home and she is heading to the bathroom to get ready to finally head to sleep but i will see you guys tomorrow when the party is happening for nyla much later so guys here we are at the party and this is actually the judge's house when they were doing the show they got them a mansion to stay in so this is where it's at and of course they decided since they are throwing the party it will be here so let's go ahead and head inside it does have a pool so if you see people in different clothes that is why so guys here we are at the party this is of course still the judge's house and as you can see we have all the judges here we have even izzy who was eliminated and we have everybody there are some more coming in still we've got amy walking in and then we've got layla and mia's mom who is cheering us on that is amazing but everybody's gonna keep partying and that will be it for this episode so guys that is the end this is the finale for the legacy of flavors i hope you guys enjoyed this video and most importantly i want to say thank you to genovia sims and simsboo for letting me use their simsoft and thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when i post new videos love you guys so much thank you for watching bye guys yeah.